What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be talking about Appalachian superstition. And you're probably familiar with a fair amount of superstitions, like it's bad luck for a cat to cross your path, it's seven years bad luck if you break a mirror, and if you step on a crack you'll break your mother's back. And most of these superstitions are based off of false causations. If a black cat crosses your path and then you go on to have a horrible day, it's not your fault, obviously not. It's definitely not any of your life choices or anything like that. It has to be the black cat's fault. But with that being said, some superstitions just make sense. Like it's bad luck to walk under a ladder. Which yeah, like that makes sense. The person up the ladder could drop something that could hit you. You could knock the ladder over, hurt someone. It's an OSHA violation, trust me. I know several things about OSHA violations. And recently I read Witches, Ghosts, and Signs, Folklore of the Southern Appalachians by Patrick W. Gaynor, and some of the superstitions in this book just make sense. So today we're going to look at three Appalachian superstitions. Number one, it's bad luck to kill spiders. Second, we're going to look at it's bad luck to carry farm tools through your house. And lastly, we are going to look at if you sing before breakfast, you are going to cry before supper. All right, right out the gate, it's bad luck to kill a spider. Other Appalachian superstitions say it's bad luck to kill crickets, frogs, toads, and snakes. And this makes sense because all those animals eat lots of pests. In fact, in the exact same vein, it's an Appalachian superstition to take your cats with you when you move from one farm to another. And this might not make any sense in a modern context, but you have to think back in the day, cats were working animals. That little fuzzy guy that wakes you up the same time every morning for food used to have a job, and that job was killing mice and rats, many of which could carry infectious diseases. So if you took all your cats with you when you moved from one farm to another, by the time the new family moved into the old farm, it could be infected by mice and rats. A good example of this is Pope Gregory IX. He declared war on cats, saying that they were in a pact with the devil, and this led to many people in Europe killing and hunting down domesticated cats, which eventually was one of the main causes for bubonic plague to spread through Europe as quickly as it did, because there was no animals to kill the mice and rats that were carrying the fleas that passed along bubonic plague. Is it actually bad luck to kill these animals? Essentially no, but it is always a bad idea to mess with these natural complex ecosystems that these animals play a role in. I mean, ask communist China what happens when you kill sparrows that are eating your grains. All right, number two, it's bad luck to carry farm tools through the house. This one just makes sense. Obviously, a lot of farm tools tend to be kind of sharp and pointy and dangerous to have around other people in general, and they're probably going to have some dirt on them, so this is a combination of safety and hygiene. You don't want to get that dirt all through your house, and you don't want to accidentally bonk someone in the head with something. The superstition goes on to state it's bad luck to carry axes through the house, it's bad luck to carry fishing poles through the house. And worst of all, it's bad luck to bring a dirty hoe into your home. Sometimes these jokes just write themselves. And last but not least, if you sing before breakfast, you will cry before supper, which is pretty close to the concept of if you want to cry, I will give you something to cry about. Like, I imagine the person who came up with the superstition was a mom that just wanted to make breakfast in the morning and her kids were going completely insane. Which, if you know Appalachian mothers, so many of them have just a wooden spoon or a flip-flop always on hand. Kid steps out of line. Trust me, I, uh, I broke many a wooden spoon with my butt in my days. But there's also superstitions about singing before bed. If you sing before bed, you will not rise in the morning, which again, makes sense if you're thinking of it as a mother that's trying to wrangle and get five, six, eight kids to bed at a halfway decent hour. Also in the same vein, of superstitions and folklore. This one's kind of cute. This one's kind of adorable. It's bad luck to wake up a bride the morning after her wedding night. Again, that makes sense. You should just let her sleep. She just had the wildest, craziest four minutes of her life the night before. 
or whatever the average amount of time. It, four minutes seems like a very long time now that I think about it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video as we talked about some Appalachian superstitions that just make sense. And if you like this video, I would definitely recommend checking out Patrick W. Gaynor's Witches, Ghost, and Signs, Folklore of the Southern Appalachians. It's an amazing book and it has a lot of great folklore in it, ghost stories, witch tales, and just superstitions, especially about when to plant and harvest certain goods. Anyways, I hope you like this video. And let me know down in the comments what superstitions are well known in your area. But until next time, don't forget to stay wild, stay wonderful, and I'll talk to you later.